Major updates from IUCN. Indian wolf has been considered a potential distinct species from other wolves. And there has been changes in protection status of four other species, which will be discussed later in the video. Indian wolf generally lives in smaller packs, rarely exceeding six to eight individuals, and is relatively less vocal, having rarely been known to howl. They are nocturnal and hunt from dusk to dawn. Their distinctive traits are they have smaller body size, shorter fur, and longer ears compared to all other wolves, arising out of adaptations for hot, dry, and semi arid grasslands. The protection status. According to IUCN, they are vulnerable. According to Wildlife Protection Act, they belong to Schedule 1, and UN Sites puts it under Appendix 1. According to IUCN, there are roughly 3,093 Indian wolves in the Indian subcontinent. Geographical range Indian wolves are primarily found in 16 states in India, right from Punjab to Karnataka and Gujarat to West Bengal. Habitat Indian wolves are primarily found in semi-arid grassland and shrublands. However, there are records of them staying in dense forests as well. But while denning or giving birth, they prefer sites near drinking water source. According to IUCN, only 12.48% of Indian wolves are found in protected areas. This means most of the population resides outside the protected areas where they are not subjected to formal protection. Threats to Indian wolves Earlier, Indian wolves used to hunt black bucks and chinkaras. With black bucks and chinkaras facing endangerment, Indian wolves rely more on domestic animals for their food now, often leading to human wolf conflicts. That is why we come across multiple incidents where wolves are being poisoned by people. 2. Grasslands are facing habitat fragmentation due to urbanization and extension of agriculture because of development of irrigation system. 3. They compete for food with dogs. 4. They are prone to diseases from canine distemper virus, canine parvovirus and rabies. 5. They face a threat of hybridization with dogs. 6. They are being hunted for their skins and fur in the black market. Now let us understand why is IUCN considering Indian wolves as a potential distinct species. If you look at the habitat elevation limit of Indian wolves, they reside between 0 meter to 1750 meter from the sea level. And Himalayan wolves are found much above this altitude. There are studies saying that Indian wolves have always been south of the Himalayan mountain range and there has been no evidence of gene flow with the Himalayan wolf lineage to the north. Hence, IUCN is considering it as a potential distinct species from other wolves. So, what will this mean to Indian wolves? It means Indian wolf will have its own conservation plan separate from other wolves and it will qualify for independent IUCN species assessment. This will also strengthen the arguments for grassland habitat protection. Now let us focus on conservation efforts. Indian wolves are captively bred in the Jai Saman sanctuary in Rajasthan and they are the only wolf species native to Indian subcontinent. Now four other species and their updated IUCN status. Hooded seal has been upgraded to endangered. Bearded seal is now classified as near threatened. And harp seal is also now classified as near threatened and green turtle has been downgraded to vulnerable status. Follow Insights IS for more such content.